Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I am Richard Lloyd. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my work. Previously, I've made a video on uh, how to share one internet connection and create two private networks using three separate routers. And uh, it's been becoming a, a much more popular video lately, I think primarily because people are telecommuting from uh, home to their work. Uh, through their computers and their networks and uh, with that video you can have three routers inside your home share one internet connection and have two private networks one let's say for the kids or the family and one for your work or your business on the other side and the two networks will be separated from each other and that creates a bit of safety in uh, you know from the, what the family's doing to what your business is doing as far as sharing data goes uh, so in this video uh, I was asked by a user, Scott A, thank you, Scott, uh, how do you share a printer between the private network that's your business and the private network that's your family or your home uh, network uh, so that you can have one printer being shared between the two uh, networks? Now, this is a pretty safe thing to do because really printers are a one-way device most of the time. They just take inputs uh, from uh, your uh, computer to print and that's it. So they don't share any data. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to connect that one printer and so that the two private networks on that video uh, will be able to print to that one printer without interfering with each other. I will put a, a link to that uh, video up here in the top uh, for you well, up here somewhere top. Uh, there'll be a little card so you can see how to create uh, two private networks using three routers and one internet connection uh, on that video. So let's get at it. Let's share that printer between those two uh, networks so that both can print. So here's the configuration I have from that uh, uh, earlier reference tab that I put up on this video um, of sharing, uh, of creating two private networks using three routers. What we have is a main router connected to a modem out to the internet and two other routers uh, that create two private networks connected to it. And what we're, I'm doing in this video is connecting a printer to the main router. Now, because it's connected to the main router, that means both these networks can actually uh, use that printer uh, and, and share that printer between the private networks and remain private because a printer is just an output device that doesn't bring anything back. So you would just be sending it jobs and it would just be printing out paper. Not the same as sharing a drive here on this, drive, on this uh, router. You could put a uh, USB external hard drive on this uh, router and share it out to both of those networks, but then that sort of makes them both, net, uh, both networks uh, vulnerable uh, in a sense because if they're sharing files and somebody from this network, the kids network or the family network, puts a file on that uh, shared drive that has a virus and then somebody from this network who goes, oh, I want to see that picture and they bring it over here to this network. Now both networks are infected with the same virus. So uh, not recommended that you share a drive on this uh, router, but in the future, I'm going to make a video on how to create a, sh a shared network drive uh, using a Raspberry Pi and it will have uh, you know, uh, user credentials. So not even though it could be shared in the center between these two uh, uh, networks, it wouldn't be access accessible unless you had the username and password. So that's, I guess, kind of a protection on it. But still, I would recommend of putting that uh, any shared drive inside the network of the, uh, uh, you know, inside the private network that you want to use it on and not share it between the two networks. So uh, what I did with this is I installed the HP OfficeJet 6500 uh, through Wi-Fi to the main router. And the way you do that is by using the SSID and uh, uh, password to uh, connect it through Wi-Fi. That's one way to connect it to that uh, router. Another way is using a LAN cable, a Cat 5E or Cat 6. I recommend Cat 6 cable. Uh, and uh, connecting it to, to the LAN port on the printer and then to a LAN port on the router and voila, you're connected through a hard cable. Now, uh, the next thing you're going to have a problem with probably will be the IP address. Uh, in, in the HP's case, it has a little uh, display panel on it and if I hit the Wi-Fi button, uh, it will show me the IP address. Also, it, it will allow me to print out reports like uh, network configuration page which will show me the IP address right there and also down here under IPv4 uh, IP address, 192.168.0.237. That's how I know it. And then 
Uh, also, if I print out a printer status report, it will also give me the IP address here under the URL. So uh, not all printers are the same, but they all have the ability to print these reports or something similar. Go to your manufacturer's website for your printer, download the manual. It will tell you how to do all these things, including connect it through Wi-Fi or through a LAN cable as well. So if you don't know the IP address of your printer or how to get it, just go to your manufacturer's website. The user manual will usually have uh, a, a procedure on how to get that. So let's go back to our main page and we're going to connect this uh, uh, printer to, uh, uh, actually I've already connected this printer to this router. So the next thing we got to do is get on a client on this network and install the printer and I'll do that. And then I'll, I'll pretend that I'm a client on this printer and do it again so you can see it two times done correctly. So the way I'm going to connect to uh, network number, uh, router number two, network number one, is to go to Wi-Fi here and connect to it. Uh, network number one, there it is on Wi-Fi. I'm gonna click on it and uh, connect to it. So now I'm going through Wi-Fi and connecting to this network and I'm a client on this network. I pretend that, it, that you know, that well, I'm not pretending, I am uh, a client on that network and I'm connected. So, uh, and if you wanna see and make sure that you're on the right network, just click on properties here, scroll down to the bottom and look at your IP addresses. A DNS server is usually the IP address of your of your router, 192.168.1.1 in this case. Or if you look at your IP address, you see 192.168.1. That's the network portion of the IP address. So if you look at the diagram, you'll see that that is correct here. So we're connected to it. We're going to go to start. Then we're going to the gear button, which is settings. And after you get there, well, I guess I'm sort of there here. I should have closed that off. Um, you're gonna to go to, uh, let's just start again on this so that we go directly. So we're gonna do the Windows, the gear button, which is settings. We're gonna to go to devices, uh, Bluetooth printers and mouse here, perfect. Then we'll go to printers and scanners. And here we're gonna say, add a printer or a scanner, basic. Now it's gonna go looking for this printer on the network. It won't find it because it's not on the network, right? So it's a Wi-Fi printer. Uh, and a Wi-Fi direct printer, so it might show it here, but we don't want to connect to it that way. You can, but don't. Uh, I'm going to use it this way. Printer that I that I want isn't listed, so I'm going to click on that. And then um, we're going to go here to add a printer using TCP IP address or host name. There we go. And next. Now we have the IP address, so we're going to put the IP address here and host name or IP address. 192.168.0.0. 237 and it populates the port name automatically. It also uh, checks off query the printer and automatically select the driver to use. So we want that to happen. We'll click next and it'll happen. Um, automatically you want it to use a driver that the computer thinks is the most appropriate one. It will do that if you leave that checked off. So there we go. Which version of the driver do you want to use? Of course, I'm gonna use the driver that's currently installed and that's what's recommended. Go with the recommended setting, next. And it's gonna give it a name, that's fine. Whatever name it has, it's fine with me. You can change it to what you wish, but I'll just leave it the way it is. And then it says printer sharing. Now, once you connect the printer to your, to your computer, you can use your computer to share it out to other computers. Now, you don't wanna really do that because what happens if you do that and you connect printers, uh, uh, sorry, you connect to other computers on your network to this computer to sh use that printer. If this computer is shut off, you no longer have access to those to that printer from the other computers. You want to connect to it directly the way I'm showing you on this uh, procedure. So don't share this printer. If you want it on three different computers on that network, just go to those three different computers and go through this procedure and they'll always be connected to it. So hit next. Here you can print a test page if you wish and then see it uh, come out of the printer and you'll know you've been successful. In my case, I'm not going to do that because I've used all the printer shooting this video already, all the printer paper. So if I hit finish, uh, you'll see it's right here and you can see it says out of paper. Now, when you see the out of paper, in my case, you know I'm connected to it because unless you're communicating with the printer, the computer would know that it was out of paper. So we know we successfully connected to that printer. Now I'm gonna remove it here and I say yes. And uh, close this off and we're going to go back and I'm going to connect through Wi-Fi to network number two and do the exact same procedure again so you can see it done once again as a client on the second network. 
And all I'm going to do to get to that second network is go to uh, network number two here on my Wi-Fi. That'll connect me to that router. Connect. And, you know, you can check the IP address to make sure you're on the right network again through that. But uh, generally, the, I figure the way you're going to be doing it is going to a computer that's in that network already and hitting your Windows Start button, going to Settings, and then going to Devices like I'm doing right here. Again, you got to be in that network. And then we're going to go to Printers and Scanners, add a printer or a scanner, do the exact same procedure again in the exact same way. And here it'll say the printer that I want isn't listed. Click on that link. Click on add a printer using TCP IP address or host name. Put the IP address in there. And just click next. And just go with the defaults like we did last time. And uh, yeah, the procedure is exactly the same on every computer. So continue to do that. And when we get there, uh, use this driver that is currently installed and recommended. And by the way, that was my uh, my phone binging, don't check yours. <laughs> uh, use this driver that's currently installed and recommended. Yes, I always go with the defaults. The safest usually works, usually. Uh, and then hit next again on that one. Um, you know, add the printer. Here, again, it's asking you again, do you want to share it? No, I don't want to share it. Um, I want to connect to it from each individual client. So next, again, I'm not going to print the test page, but you can see already over here that it says it's out of paper. So we're connected to that printer. Okay, so that's the procedure for that. I'm going to take it off here um, because I don't usually run two private networks here at my house, but regardless, I set it up for you guys. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so yeah, here's the configuration. This is what we got. We're, we're finished installing that printer on a clients on each one of those networks and it will work perfectly. Um, yeah, and uh, in the future, I'll do some more networking videos and including a way of creating a, a shared drive using a Raspberry Pi, which is really cool. I'll show you that. It's really powerful and neat uh, in a future video. Okay, so if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a huge favor and give me, give me a great big thumbs up in the bottom corner over there. And uh, that helps my channel. It helps support me and also helps the YouTube algorithm to, to uh, make my video uh, much more searchable and findable on YouTube. So give me big, uh, thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Also in the comments section below, leave your comments, suggestions, uh, or questions in there. That's what uh, spawned this video was a comment in the comments section. So thank you, Mr. Scott A. I appreciate that. Uh, and I appreciate uh, uh, being asked to do this, uh, especially in this case, because I think it's very valuable. So uh, if you got some value out of this video and you like uh, my channel, do me a huge favor, subscribe to my channel. There's a subscription uh, link in the bottom corner again. And uh, at the end of this video, you'll see a picture of me. That is a subscription link as well. And when you click on those links, you'll see a bell icon. If you hit the bell icon, and it, that's the notification bell. And every time I put up a new video, you get notified that I put up a new video, and then you can watch it at your own leisure. Uh, once again, thank you. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy.